Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the question of what is going to happen to the completionist long term. So we have some mentions of other YouTubers, the Illuminati, who is now being sued for tax evasion. We are going to uh, take a look. We're going to go down that tunnel as well. Uh, Illuminati is quite interesting and I think... Um, defamatory videos, false allegations, and a 25-year non-disclosure agreement. Uh, it's going to be a very, very interesting thing, right, uh, to talk about. And it's uh, they've been compared to Philippe Mushin. So I don't know who Philippe Mushin is. I'm actually Googling the name right now. Philippe Mushin. Uh, my name is Philippe Mushin. I'm a former IGN video games journalist that plagiarized and ruined my own career. Ask me anything. So that is Philippe Mushin. And let's go on his channel. He's got 51,000 subscribers, which is not bad. Uh, he has, looks like he has stopped making videos about two years ago. But he was um, making, yeah, he, he stopped making videos two years ago. So that's interesting. And two years ago, he had the Ask Me Anything. He made the biggest mistake of his life. I plagiarized one of my reviews from someone else on YouTube and got caught. And as a result, I was fired from IGN and my former fan base. Oh, okay. So that was another individual. And then also Spoonie. Spoonie from Spoonie Experiments, right? Uh, people who made it really big and ah Spoonie, yes. I think his name is now no his uh his real name is Noah. So it looks like um he also had a big 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 following at one time, the Spoonie experiment. And let's click I again I think his YouTube channel is just his name now. And he hasn't made a video in 10 months, he was making videos almost every day. And then uh, in 10 months, he has not made a video. So what is the what is the parallel in the completionist? Where, where is he going to go? Where, what is he going to look like uh, in terms of a channel? I think it's more like Boogie2988, where slowly and steadily he will be losing subscribers, donations, Patreons, and it's going to be a slow bleed. And maybe that is the greatest punishment you could do because if you just kind of imploded or exploded, um, you might still be okay. You might still be okay. I mean, you might not be great, but you know it's time to move on. And at least you know it's time to move on. Well, not everyone knows that. And when you are not aware of that <laughs> you know you kind of just continue to do the same thing until until you can't um and that's where i think it's heading right now um people are very upset with him and they probably will never forgive him for what he has done i'm actually looking at illuminati seeing yeah it's basically Illuminati, so her latest videos has 13K, 24K, 18K, 58K, 70K, 51K, 38K, 54K. And ever since she has been exposed, she's been desperate to, and I mean, the videos she's been making are Trump, you know, abuse on the ice, McDonald's, right? And so she fell from grace, I think, what, nine months ago? Yeah, nine months ago, she was doing 100K. Uh, her Illuminati, so here we have Illuminati Exposed, which has 1.2 million views. And she just continued, continued to uh, lose views and views. And then, again, her last video on her channel is nine days ago with 13k but she continued to make videos and videos and videos but the amount of money and again the 
number of people who are watching her channel in a positive way absolutely got <laughs> obliterated. And it, it's interesting to see. Um, surely, it, it's very, very strange to see that this is kind of the reality of YouTube. Um, the reality of YouTube is is what it looks like for these guys. It, it's a little sad. Noah, Flippy, Illuminati, right? What happens to you when you get called out? What happens to you when people don't want to take your BS anymore? And, well, your channel just slowly dies. And just like Illuminati... Makeup's toxic secrets. Is your makeup killing you? Question mark. 13K. Wake up now was put to bed. Wake up now scam. 24K. Jenny Craig, a classic scam. 18K. That was four weeks ago. And she's kind of trying to pump. You know, she's probably working. And here's the interesting part. She's putting out more content and working harder and harder and harder. But there's less views. There's less. There's nothing that can help her. I that this is a very very difficult position to be in. Uh, to be quite honest, he has 1.25 million. I mean, completionist is exactly the same. He has around these similar. He's got 1.5 million, but he's not able to break the numbers or even come close to the numbers he once did, and it's a slow bleed. So I think Illuminati is a very good example of someone. The completionist can look at and and the sad part is hey like if you have a business I can tell you what what they always say in Google uh, fail fast they don't care uh, fail fast right um, fail fast the last thing that you want to do is continue on with a store or a project or a business. That is just continually to lose money, unable to make profits, unable to do anything. And yeah, that's that's really, really bad, guys. Um, and, and it's bad for a lot of things. But uh, typically speaking, it, it's really bad because when you talk about life and and how much time that you can de dedicate to something you might always feel like i can get back um i can get back to the point where i'm, I'm a big youtuber again i'm making it you know people are watching my video content i'm doing really well but you can never get back but there's always that hope right there's always that hope that um that you might but you're stuck in this uh trap in, in your in your mind, you're like, oh, it's just I just need one more great video, and I can get back the subscribers I lost or the views I lost. But just like Illuminati, 13k is just terrible views for her channel, for 1.25 million. It's the same with Boogie2988. He's so desperate to get views because this is a whole category of individuals who basically they made it. They had the world at their feet. Right, Boogie's got four million. Boogie's a really good example of this. And due to their bad behavior, due to their bad choices, and due to their arrogance, um, you know, I mean, it's it's quite fascinating where you see these huge YouTubers you grew up watching, like the Completionist, like Boogie, like Illuminati, like um, Spoonie, right, like. Flippy, right, who plagiarized, supposedly. I think he said that himself. Oh, man, it's tough. Who did you plagiarize this AMA from? Did you use chat GTP? I mean, he's getting roasted, man. He's getting roasted. Um, You plagiarized multiple reviews. What happened, right? Um, What happened? To these YouTubers when all they know is YouTube. All they know is YouTube. And when they lose their fame and their... For and their for I mean, obviously, it's tied their money. Do they have any skills to find a real job? 